All right, so my well guys just got here and they're uh, gonna start taking it apart and going through things, troubleshoot it, figure out what's wrong, and get it, get it, we need some water. Uh, so I still have workers here, we don't have a toilet, so or we do, but it's not functioning. Anyhow, so now the, the motor is bad and at the bottom of the well, so they're gonna swing that boom over and they gotta just pull up the pipe, disconnect, disconnect, so they get all the way to the pump. And uh, so that's what they're doing right now. They're gonna pull that motor. I'm not sure what that's gonna cost, but ain't no getting around it, gotta do it. So what he'll do is he'll take that hook, he's going to tie onto the pipe, and then he'll pull, he'll just keep pulling that motor up with that pipe, and he'll keep pulling up and unbolting these sections of pipe, or unscrewing them, until finally he gets the motor. And once he gets the motor, he'll change that out, drop it back down, and just reverse the process and put the pipes back together, and, uh, and then we'll be in business again. Right now he's working on his outriggers. Uh, that's so that the truck is stable when he's pulling it out. You can see it'll flop all over. Uh, but that little bit of, you know, gives him some stability, setting those, uh, those outriggers down. A little nervous because I, I wouldn't really want to put that truck on this concrete. I just had the hell with it. Go ahead and do it. It probably isn't going to crash, but uh, I'd, I'd have felt better if I had all the scoring done ahead of time. But we're just kind of doing it around them, so all good. And my name, he's been a good guy. He brought me a beer the other day when I, uh, when I had uh, locked myself out of my car. That's it for now. Flip anything USA. Uh, please keep watching. Thanks.